Today, today, we're going to win. We're going to fight, fight, fight. Notre Dame stops it. The Irish win the game. Playing with your brothers. You got a great opportunity. Let's go seize the moment. Let's go play. Inside Notre Dame football with Brian Kelly is presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame football is also brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. The want and the will, all those things are there, uh, but we have not been consistent in our execution, and uh, we haven't done it from play to play. And until we do, you know, we're going to find ourselves in a battle each and every week. And we saw that again. Uh, we fell behind by 14 points. The kids battled, got it back to 27-21 in the fourth quarter, but uh, just wasn't enough. When you spot Oklahoma 14 points at the outset, you're you're fighting against it most of the way. Irish head coach Brian Kelly after Notre Dame's 35-21 loss to now 10th ranked Oklahoma, ending Notre Dame's 10 game home field winning streak. Hello again Irish fans and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. As disappointing as Saturday's Notre Dame performance was, there were some positives for the Irish against the Sooners, such as Notre Dame's best running performance of the season. Anytime you're looking for balance, we've thrown the ball at times very well. Um, we hadn't run the ball effectively this year uh, until we got into this week against Oklahoma. Uh, and we made a, an emphasis of it. Now we have to carry both of those. We've got to throw it well, we've got to run it well on a consistent basis. And if we can get both of those things moving, then, um, then that's the kind of offense that we're looking for. We want to be able to have that kind of balance. Secondary. Food's ready. Okay, coming. When you have the most live college football, all you want to do is watch college football. With Xfinity from Comcast, you get the most live college football, including ESPN Goal Line and Watch ESPN. Get it all when you upgrade to digital preferred TV for just $9.99 more a month for 12 months. You're home for the most live sports. Xfinity. Call today. Proven hydration to help replace what you sweat out. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, Let's ah, go. Before they earned enough cash back from Bank of America to help pay for Benny's expenses, before they earned 1% back on all purchases, everywhere, every time, and 2% back at the grocery store, even before earning 3% back on gas with no hoops to jump through. They opened a Bank AmeriCard Cash Rewards credit card just in time to open their hearts. That's the magnitude of rewarding connections. Apply online or at a Bank of America near you. Saturday's game with Oklahoma got off to an ugly start for the Irish with two big mistakes leading to two Sooner touchdowns less than three minutes into the game. If there was something that you're disappointed, that's probably what you're disappointed in, in the most is that you've handled these things easily in the past and for some reason they crop up and uh, you don't handle them. But um, like I said, we've got to go back and, and we've got to do a better job of coaching and teaching and making sure they never happen again. That could have been a knockout punch, and your guys did come back. And midway through that quarter, you put together a very impressive 80-yard drive, and five different guys carried the ball on that drive effectively. Yeah, it was a 10-play drive, 80 yards. Mixed it up very well. I thought we got Andrew involved. Converted some third downs, some key throws. It's really the kind of offense we want and expect to have on a more consistent basis. Problem is it hasn't been consistent enough and, and that's what we have to get to. If we can play with that kind of efficiency on offense, 
Um, we're going to be a really good football team. And I know I keep saying that, but that's the proof against a pretty good team in Oklahoma, what we're capable of doing. We haven't been able to put that together on a consistent basis. And we again saw what Folston can do with his 36-yard run. Nice run on the outside. Um, certainly a young man that we want to continue to get work. He's been an effective player. We know about Amir's ability. He didn't get a ton of chances. Uh, George was the hot hand, and George got a lot, and we know what Cam can do. So we, we all know now they're establishing their roles, the running backs, and you're going to need all of those four guys, and they continue to help us. But then Tommy does find TJ again on a very well-executed play. As you know, last week we were all vertical down the field. We needed to have some more intermediary routes, and, and that was a good route where he really set up the DB. Uh, I thought the execution there was outstanding. Third and less than two for Oklahoma. They were only two of seven. And in the second quarter, you came up with a huge stop on fourth down to get the ball back. Great fourth down stop. And one of the keys that we thought was to get them off the field on third down. I thought our defense did a nice job on third downs. And, you know, the resolve of our defense and coming up big on third down really you know, kept us in the ball game. I thought that was probably the key to the game. And you could feel a noticeable momentum shift. And you're driving down the field. You're in scoring position. And then there's another mistake. Yeah, you know, you're going to look to Tommy on the on the on the interception, but we, we don't have great spacing on the route, and, and and that's another one of those detailed things where, you know, you've got some receivers that are, that are inexperienced that get pushed into the route, and we don't have great spacing. We get a deflection, and we got an opportunity to be 14-10 or 14-14 instead of the turnover, and now we got a different situation. The Sooners converted the interception into another touchdown, and the Irish found themselves trailing 21-7 at halftime. It was a situation the Irish did not expect to be in, and Coach Kelly says the responsibility lies with everyone on the team, players and coaches. We have to look at ways as coaches that we can put our kids in a great position and um, be more effective in our teaching and our techniques and be more detailed. So. I don't think this is just about the players. I think we have to do a better job too with, with our players and putting them in a great position and making sure that we get the most out of our players. Try new things. Now we have bold new tastes like never before. You like things made by hand. We're now grilling up freshly made egg whites. You like to cool down. We just added a refreshing new smoothie. You get wrapped up in things. We're introducing new delicious ways for you to eat. There's no one quite like you. Now more than ever, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. DNR app. Go to I'mLovingIt.com. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up. I'm happy. It went out today. I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS My Choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. The Irish needed a big play and quickly at the start of the second half, and they got one the first time they touched the football when George Atkinson broke free for a career-long 80-yard touchdown run. Beautiful run, uh, well executed, uh, pressed it in very nicely. We got a little bit of a block from Danny Smith, and the rest, uh, you know, that's George. He's got great elite speed, and uh, there was no chance for anybody to catch him once he got out in the perimeter. He's always had the speed, but the last two weeks we've seen a different running back. What is he doing different? Uh, just running through tackles, uh, utilizing his strength uh, and his size now as an advantage. Uh, we, we always felt like he went down too easy uh, for his size, and now he's running uh, with that kind of forward lean, that toughness that we believe he has, and he can run through a lot of tackles, and uh, I think we saw that yesterday. And your defense contains a very powerful Oklahoma offense after this. You hold them to a couple of field goals, and then you start another drive. And again, George, three straight carries, 25 yards. Again, we felt like we had enough time, you know, that we didn't have to go panic here and 
start throwing the ball over the yard because that's not what we want to do. That's not uh, going to be efficient for us offensively. So we had time to run the football. We felt like running the football was going to be the way for us to get back in the game. And, and that's why we, we stayed consistent with the running game. And then you have a play action pass. Nicholas is wide open and Tommy finds. And that's where, you know, we feel as though this offense can be most productive is running the football and then giving us the opportunity to hit some play action passes. And then we do a nice job with the, uh, the route and, and we got a wide open receiver. And those are the ones that you want. And we hit Troy Nicholas and we're right back in at 27-21. But your margin for error is small. And regrettably, at that point, a defense that played very, very well gives up a big play. We were in a, a corner blitz situation and you know, that's just one of those things where you cannot let the receiver inside the defense. We, we let the receiver inside the defense and, and we're in a bad position defensively when that happens. And uh, we said all along, you've got to have great leverage on this team. You've got to be smart. You've got to be disciplined. Uh, we were not smart on that play. We let the, the receiver shepherd inside uh, our Mike linebacker and he was off to the races. What is your goal? for this team right now for the rest of the year. At the end of the day, we want to put together a football team uh, that plays the perfect game, you know, that puts it together for four quarters. That's why we're all doing this. So our players want to play that, that perfect game, and we haven't played that yet. We haven't played that complete game yet. So the focus, the energy, everything is, is on that, playing that, that game the way it's supposed to be played, and uh, that will be the focus, the goal, uh, moving forward. There is your final score once again. Oklahoma winning for just the second time in the 11 game series by the score of 35 21. Your final stats from UND.com tell the story. The Irish did compile their best rushing total of the season with 220 yards on the ground, but losing the turnover battle 3 0 with all three turnovers leading to Oklahoma touchdowns proved to be a self inflicted wound that was just too hard to overcome. It is time now for this week's Strong and True Moment presented by ATI Physical Therapy. And this week's moment is, of course, the 80-yard touchdown run by George Atkinson III. Tommy Reese at quarterback. Handoff, running with the ball. Breaking into open field is Atkinson. Can they catch him? They cannot. Look at that speed. Atkinson taking it all the way home. Touchdown, Notre Dame. 80 yards. Tommy Reese did throw two touchdown passes Saturday against an Oklahoma defense that had not given up a touchdown pass this season, but he also turned the ball over three times. He and his teammates know they must learn from the loss to Oklahoma and get better in practice this week. You let it you know, sit for 24 hours and you think about you know, how you can get better and where you need to improve, and then you know, come tomorrow morning when we check in and stuff, it's, uh, you know, it's ready to go for next week, and you, know, you can't you know, sit there and uh, you know, soak on a loss. Uh, yeah, you know we got a group of fighters. Um, you know that's that's one of our strengths is we got guys that will never that won't give up, and uh, I think it's just kind of the same story. Is we we got to be more consistent and um, you know make plays when when uh, when we need to. And Take away something positive from it. You know I'm happy that we came out in the second half. You know and we played with great energy. Um, you know there was never a, never that drop of intensity or giving up. So you know we lost. Obviously, it's going to take a toll on everybody, but we're just going to go back to work and get better. The Irish can feel good about the fact they proved against Oklahoma they can run the ball consistently against a good defense led by GA3 George Atkinson III, who picked up a career-high 148 rushing yards against the Sooners. He ran very hard. Uh, he's got that big big play capability, and um, you know we were able to make a couple holes for him to, to get going. So uh, you know we know he's got that burst. So it's up to us to, to get him lanes to do it, and uh, you know he ran great today. You know for us it makes you know coming out of the second half and our defense gets a big stop, and you know we score and, and we're kind of right back in the game. So uh, you know it was a huge play by him, and um, you know gave us some life uh, there. He showed he has a you know big playability. He's got you know speed where if you know he gets out in the open field, he can you know run by a lot of people. And I think he showed that today. And um, he'll continue to you know be a good asset on offense. You will hear from George later in our show. Now on Friday morning before the Oklahoma game, Brian Kelly stopped by a meeting of the Monogram Club board to give a talk. 
When he arrived, he was surprised to learn that he had been chosen to become a member of a very select group of people to receive an honorary Notre Dame monogram, a list that includes Pope John Paul II, President Ronald Reagan, Father Hesburgh, and a couple of guys Coach Kelly knows very well, Eric Parsegian and Lou Holtz. I know firsthand how difficult it is uh, to, to receive such an honor. And, you know, you don't get them by just being on the team. You have to contribute. And uh, that makes me feel great that I've contributed in a fashion that they, they see that I'm worthy of receiving one. So it was a great honor. You wait all year for summer. This summer was definitely worth the wait. Summer's best event from Cadillac. Let summer try and pass you by. Lease this all new Cadillac ATS for around $299 per month or purchase for 0% APR for 60 months. The best offers of the model year end September 3rd. Can I help you? <coughs> Excuse me, hi. Uh, I wanted to find out about the unlimited for life guarantee. Sure, Sprint is guaranteeing unlimited talk, text, and data for life. Cool, 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 cool. And uh, what if, say, technically you were not alive? Mm. Like, maybe you were undead? Like a zombie. Whoa, let's not go putting labels on people. I'm a zombie. Switch to Sprint and get unlimited for life. And now, save up to $100 on any phone. Oklahoma led from start to finish in this year's meeting with Notre Dame, but it is usually the Irish who get the upper hand when these two teams meet. Even with the Sooners win on Saturday, Notre Dame still holds a 9-2 edge over Oklahoma, with the most famous game in the series taking place back in 1957, when an unranked Irish team traveled to Norman to take on an Oklahoma team that had won an NCAA record 47 straight games. November 16, 1957 is a day Oklahoma fans will never forget. And our touchdown cameras are in Norman to record this historic football game. The Sooners are unbeaten in 47 straight games. And Oklahoma features a scoring streak of 123 consecutive contests, both of which are all-time collegiate marks. The last team to down OU was Notre Dame. And the Fighting Irish are Oklahoma's opponents today. Stay put, for you're going to see the game of the year. Quarterback Williams is taking the headlines away from the nation's second ranking team as he completes another pass. This one to Pietrasanti is good for 10 yards. Now watch this play carefully. Jim just gets the handoff and bangs into the line. Just, just didn't make it into the end zone. Rack up a brilliant goal line stand for the Sooner defense. Next time they get the ball, the Irish are closing in again with Frank Reynolds carrying for a nine-yard gainer. The Sooners aren't the only team to work a little razzle-dazzle. The Irish pull off a fake field goal, and Williams passes to Just, who blasts to the OU six. But once again, the Irish luck runs out. Frank Reynolds' pass is picked off by Dave Baker in the end zone, and the Notre Dame drive conks out. At halftime, the score is tied at nothing to nothing. Fourth quarter, and now the fun begins. Notre Dame on the move, and that's Frank Reynolds rambling for 11 yards. Here's the play of the game, and Sooner fans are shocked. Dick Lynch behind Pietro Sandi's bone-crushing block sweeps into the end zone for a touchdown. Notre Dame, a three-touchdown underdog, leads the nation's number two team, Oklahoma, seven to nothing. Only one minute remains, and Oklahoma gets a break. Bennett Watts' long pass is deflected into the hands of John Pello, and OU is perched on the Irish 24-yard line. It's do or die for the Sooners. Dale Sherrod throws goalward, but Bob Williams, a standout for the Irish, makes a clutch interception. The kings of collegiate football are beaten. Notre Dame snaps Oklahoma's 47-game winning streak and hands the Sooners their first shutout in 124 consecutive games. In the upset of the year, Terry Brennan's Irishman dumped Bud Wilkinson's Sooners 7 to nothing. Coach Brennan and his team received a rousing ovation Saturday when they were introduced on the field at Notre Dame Stadium 
before kickoff. George Atkins in the third also received a number of ovations while he was turning in the best rushing day of his career on Saturday. Now let's see if he can take on our questions as well as he took on Oklahoma defenders in this week's 60 second drill. Favorite all time movie? Any given Sunday. First car you ever drove? Lexus. Favorite TV show? Fresh Prince. Favorite musical group or artist? Tupac. Do you have a celebrity crush? Nicki Minaj. What'd you do on your first date? Movies. Favorite breakfast meal? Uh, Fruit Loops. Favorite ice cream flavor? Um, Rocky Road. Favorite sports to watch? Football. Favorite sports team? Raiders. Get up early or sleep in? Sleep in. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Billy Waves with my Best player to room with on the road? Cam McDaniels. Which assistant coach is most like Coach Kelly? Uh, coach Martin when Coach K first got here. Hardest hitter on the team? Prince Shimbo. Best singer on the team? Uh, Corey Robinson. Best dancer on the team? Prince Shimbo. Best comedian on the team? Um, Tyler Stockton. Best dresser on the team? George Atkinson. Worst dresser on the team? Um, Max Winfield. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? Fans. GA3 have completed 60 seconds at Inside Notre Dame Football. Thank you. Thank you. You work hard for the money you earn. I've got just enough. That's why Meyer carries the name brand toys, electronics, and video games you love. All at low Meyer prices. Because even superheroes like to save money. Meyer makes the best things in life even better. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because. For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes all the way from Stockholm, Sweden. Marcus Johnson, who makes an annual trip to Notre Dame Stadium for a game, has this query for Coach Kelly. We sometimes hear how you manage your players in good times and bad. Can you tell me how you deal with your coaching staff when things are not going as well as planned? I think it's important that you, um, you, you understand you know what they're going through you know because they're so competitive they want to win they want to be successful um, you know they want to make sure that they're getting the best out of their players and so uh, I think you start with that assumption uh, and and then you offer advice um, and you listen uh, I think it's important to listen to what they have to say but um, I think communication during those times is very important so those coaches know that you um, you're there for them if, if they need you this week, the Shamrock Series moves to North Texas, where the Irish will take on an Arizona State team Saturday night that scored 62 points in a win over USC this past Saturday. That win pushed the Sun Devils back into both the AP and coaches' rankings. The Irish respect the Sun Devils, but right now their focus is inward, not outward. Uh, I think a lot of this is still about us and it really doesn't matter whether we play Arizona State or Navy or Air Force or Pittsburgh or BYU, the remaining teams on our schedule, USC, we have to play better <laughs> ourselves. You know, we have to be more consistent offensively. We've got to leverage the ball better. We've got to tackle better. Uh, no disrespect to Arizona State. They're a fine football team. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter about Arizona State at this point. It matters what Notre Dame does. And if Notre Dame plays better and more consistent, we're going to win football games. If we don't, it really doesn't matter who we play. We'll have all the highlights of the third meeting between Notre Dame and Arizona State on our next show. Until then, thanks for watching, and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly has been presented by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Sprint. Inside Notre Dame football has also been brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, Bank of America, Cadillac, CBTS, Xfinity, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sears, 
Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.